the Kimsum Air 10. How's it going everybody? This is Andy with AspenValleyVapes.com and today we're going to be taking a look at another pod system. This is the Kimsum Air 10 mod. This one right here is another pod system that comes with pre-filled pods. There's 15 different flavor options. So like always, we're going to go over the basics on this guy, have a quick vape on it, dive in, take a close-up look, see what it comes with, take a look at the mod itself, take a look at the pod inside of here, check out the airflow, see what it comes with, then we'll bring it back up top, have a few more vapes on it, and then I'll give you my overall thoughts on the Kimsum Air 10. Starting off with the basics, it's a very simple mod. It's another pod-based system. As of right now, they don't sell empty pods. The pods do come pre-filled. There's 15 different flavors to choose from. Pod in here is a watermelon smoothie flavor, six milligram nicotine content. The pods themselves have a 10 mil e-liquid capacity. The battery on here is a 1700 milliamp hour battery, and there's no OLED display or anything like that. There's just one single fire button located on the side of the mod, and then your LED indicator. You can see that micro USB port too as well. That is for charging the device. There is no replaceable battery. It's just as simple as five clicks to turn the mod on five clicks to turn it off, and one click to vape. And then when you're vaping this LED strip right here, that'll be illuminated and there's five different dots there and you'll be able to see your battery life based on which dot it's at. One's gonna be the lowest, five will be the highest battery capacity. When I did first see the pictures on this, I thought it was much, much bigger than it actually is. Kim Sum should definitely put some size comparison, show it in a hand and stuff to sh so they can actually show how small and stealthy this device really is. Because I was thinking it was about two times the size of this when I first saw it. Mainly due to the 10 mil e-liquid capacity, I thought it was going to be much bigger, but they were able to keep it in a small package with a, still a good size battery. Now the output on here is not adjustable. It's going to be the same output throughout, and this is actually a temperature control device. The constant temperature output is going to be 530 degrees Fahrenheit, and the coils inside of the pods are rated at 0.25 ohms. Now I'm not 100% sure what wire is used inside of these 0.25 ohm coils, but I do believe it is stainless steel, and I believe this is a and I believe the output is a stainless steel temperature control on this. Again, I am not 100% sure on that. If I do hear back from Kimsum, I will follow up down in the comments with that to let you know if it's either nickel, nickel temperature control, stainless steel. Let's go ahead and have a quick vape. This is with the watermelon smoothies flavor, six milligram inside of here. Alrighty, here we have the packaging on the Kimsum Air 10. You can see watermelon smoothie, six milligrams is the one this kit comes with. 10 milliliter volume on the bottom. On the side here, it does show some of these specs on the mod. Flip it on over, you can see some of the selling points, disposable pod, buckle in, unique design, temperature control, pure taste, aluminum alloy metal body. And then on the bottom there, even good hand touching. <laughs> when you do open this box up, the Air 10 will slide out in a little package there that I've already gotten rid of. And then you'll get this little insert here. Not really a user manual, just tells you the specs and a little bit about using it. Here's a diagram here you can see. Specs on the bottom, size, size, battery capacity, resistance to the coil. It does show you how to use it here, very simple. Just plugging the pod in, locking and unlocking it, five clicks on, five clicks off. Standby mode, battery charging, all that good stuff. And then a few of the built-in safety features that this mod has. And then you'll get a micro USB cord for charging it. All right, here you can see the Air 10 up close. This is the battery on the bottom. This is your pod up on top with the mouthpiece on here. It's not removable, but these are the disposable pods. On the side, you do have your fire button. Nice fire button here. Battery indicator, five lights, five blue LED lights. You can see the battery life is at four right now. And then you have your micro USB port for charging it on the bottom there. It does have a nice rubberized finish, sort of like the S Modus Minikin series that has that little rubberized finish to it. This mod also has that nice finish on here. The pod is just plastic, but the actual battery, it does have that finish. To take the pod out, all you do is you just pull it out. Here you can see the replacement pod, 10 mil either capacity. That's where the Kimsum Air 10 comes from. This is their watermelon smoothies flavor in here, which to me is more like a watermelon menthol rather than smoothie, but it is still very good. You can see, the, you can sort of see the cotton in there for wicking it, and then the connection points where it connects to the actual base of the battery. Very simple design right here. You just line your pot up with these two prongs right here, insert it down into there, click, and you'll be ready. The airflow on here is built into the pod. You can see those three holes right there. It's not adjustable, but it is a very good airflow for both mouth to lung and direct lung. There is no airflow on the battery itself. And when you have the pod off, you can see the airflow there. So it's got sort of a U shape like the Aspired Nautilus X. Airflow comes through down here, hits the coil, and then comes back up through the mouthpiece, which delivers a nice smooth vape overall. 
Quick little size comparison here, you can see it next to the RX Mini, which is a very tiny mini mod. I definitely thought the Air 10 was a lot bigger than it was, but as you can see here, it pretty much fits in the palm of my hand. Very sleek and stealthy pod mod, especially with a 10 mil e-liquid capacity. And here you can see it's next to a single 18650 mod, the Mix80 right here. I was going to take care of the close-up though. Let's bring it back up top, have a few more vapes on it, and I'll give you my overall thoughts on the Kimsum Air 10. All right, now that we've got that close-up out of the way, let's go ahead and have a few more vapes on it. Again, this is going to be the six milligram watermelon smoothie pod inside of here. Wattage temperature, it's not adjustable. It's going to be a 530 watt output every time you do vape. All right, so those two vapes right there, those were direct lung vapes. Let's go ahead and mouth to lung vape this device. So as you can see there, both mouth to lung vaping and direct lung vaping is definitely an option with this. The airflow is really good for mouth to lung and it's still good for direct lung too. It's better than a lot of tanks out there. It's not a super airy draw, it's still restricted. But on a 0.25 ohm coil, it's definitely possible to mouth to lung. This is that six milligram inside of here. I'm not sure what the milligram content goes up to in these. I don't know if it goes to 18 or if six is the max. Um, I'm still waiting to hear back from Kimson on that because I can't find on their website the flavors and the different nicotine options. But this six milligram right here is very nice mouth to lung or direct lung in it. Vapor production, you could see there was still very good mouth to lung vaping it. And it feels like it can easily be a mouth to lung device. So for my overall thoughts on this Kimsum Air 10, I've had it for about a month, maybe a month and a half now actually, and this is gonna be hands down, without question, my favorite pod mod system that's a closed base system. It's not refillable. The flavor's sort of hard for me to compare in this pod mod since I haven't used this watermelon smoothie flavor before. I think this is their own flavor. I haven't used that in another tank or RDTA, so I can't really compare it, but I do know that in here, it's still very, very good. So the flavor is good, vapor production is good. You can do direct lung, you can do mouth to lung. This watermelon smoothies flavor is the only flavor I've tried, so I can't speak for the other 14 flavors, but I do know that this one is fantastic. I would like to see them start working with brands like Charlie's Chalk Dust and a few of those other larger e-liquid companies here in the United States. Like a lot of the other closed pod systems have done, the Von Earl and the Wismec MyJet, all of those companies, they're working with some of the popular companies here for their closed base systems. I would like to see that with Kimsum as well. So it is my favorite closed system pod mod that I have used. In terms of recommending it over some of the other ones, I would have to see the pricing on the replacement pods and the battery itself. But if it's anywhere reasonable within comparable to the other ones, then oh yeah, I would recommend this over the other ones like the Von Earl, the Jewel, and some of those other pod mod systems. It's got a 10 mil e-liquid capacity. It's got a nice rubberized finish on the actual mod itself. 1700 mAh internal battery. Micro USB charging, five clicks on, five clicks off, no complaints whatsoever. Good airflow on the pod, no leaking, very good overall system. That's pretty much gonna wrap up this video on the Kimsum Air 10 though. If you guys have any questions on this mod or any vape related questions in general, please leave a comment down below. And if you did enjoy this video, please be sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe. It is greatly appreciated. And as always, vape on.